Hey everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed for Operation Christmas Child Shoebox Inspiration and welcome to the 60s and 70s. Today I'd like to share with you a really groovy shoebox that I've packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl that I am calling Flower Child. Now, if you're anywhere close to my age, you likely have fond memories of the 60s and 70s, as I do, and you're familiar with the term flower child. For you youngsters out there, a flower child was a hippie, hopefully you know what a hippie is, who wore flowers as symbols of peace, beauty, and love. And they wore like clothing embroidered with flowers and vibrant colors, uh, flowers in their hair, and they even handed out flowers to the public. So let's take a look at what I've packed in this box. I wrapped it in a, a, a flower patterned wrapping paper that reminded me of the 60s and the 70s. Inside the lid is a peace sign with some flowers and a heart and when she looks inside this is what she'll see. In the 1960s and 70s disc sports or frisbee became a popular pastime for hippies in the US so I was really excited to be able to fit a nice sized flying disc. As a matter of fact it's even bigger than the width of this box and that's why it was on top because the cardboard at the top of the box gives a little bit and I was able to fit it at the the top and allow the cardboard to just bow out a little bit to, in order to fit it in the box. This disc was given to me by Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays she and I live not too far from each other, and one day after Easter, we met for lunch and swapped some after Easter clearance finds. And it came out of a big Barbie Easter basket. So we've got two Barbies on the front. Have a blooming day is what it says. So I was really excited to fit that in this shoe box. A flower child definitely wears flowers in her hair, so I gave her this headband with a crown of flowers and these cute little rhinestone cat ears. She's got two stuffies, two beanie babies. One is this cute little tie-dyed bear with a peace sign embroidered on his chest. His name is Peace. Very cute little bear. And I gave Peace a friend. This is Hippie, I think. Yep, Hippie, a little tie-dye rabbit. Very cute. She's got a small zippered bag in a print, definitely inspired by the 60s and the 70s with that peace sign. And inside, She's got a few hygiene items, a pink comb contributed by Angie, a pink compact mirror from Denise L, it's that Goody brand, really nice quality mirror, and some emery boards, four, blue on one side and pink on the other, and some nail clippers. She has a high bounce ball from Linda Hitchcock and a cool fidget spinner. One of those patterned ones that I love so much, contributed by Joan Cowan. She's got a sewing kit that I made and slipped into an Ipsy bag, which is a cosmetic bag that was contributed to me and inside the kit is some thread assortments, bright color threads, neutral color threads, sewing needles, thimbles, seven inch scissors, um, a measuring tape, dressmaker pins, some little tins, 
um, that the pins and also some buttons are in. Needle threader, seam ripper, zippers, elastic, hooks and eyes. And much of that was contributed by viewers, Linda Hitchcock, Denise L, and an anonymous viewer. It's a great sewing kit. Uh, I did a video on what I include in my sewing kits. If you've missed that, I will link it down below in the video description if you want to take a peek. She has the perfect t-shirt I picked up at the children's place uh, probably three months ago for a really good price. And it has a peace sign shaped out of the words love harmony hope kindness giving happiness togetherness unity and peace it's kind of a neon pink color in a size xxl which is a 16 but remember children's place runs a little bit small and it's gotten she has a great scarf to wear with that t-shirt i got this at the dollar tree quite some time ago and it has just been sitting in my stash waiting for the perfect shoe box and I think this is it. It has peace signs and flowers, paisleys and hearts, the words love and peace on it. It's in purple and pink with splashes of turquoise which is what is around the peace sign on her shirt purple and turquoise on the pink ground so I thought that went great with it. She's got quite a few hair accessories that I slipped into an organza bag. A daisy headband. It was nine cents from Walmart on clearance after Easter and I got a few of them and it's perfect for this flower child shoe box. And I've given her a tie-dyed velvet scrunchie. Again, perfect match for her shirt. Some hair elastics from Angie. An assortment of fun snap barrettes. The striped ones are from Angie. And then we've got some glitter turquoise and black from another viewer. And these cute little bow ones are from Shein. And then lastly, she's got assorted color butterfly claw clips for her hair. In another organza bag, I gave her an assortment of 60s and 70s inspired jewelry. She's got a necklace and earring set that I'm leaving in the bag. I got this from Shein. I'm leaving it in there because the earrings are loose and there are extra backs in here, earring backs, and I just wanted to leave it in the plastic bag. So her necklace is this really cute little flower with multicolored petals and matching little dangly, just slightly dangly earrings. I thought this was so cute and I got this from Shein.com if I didn't say already. Also from Shein is this paracord bracelet with flowers woven into the pattern in these bright colors that I think go perfectly with her t-shirt, as does her necklace and earrings. Also from Shein are these seed beaded bracelets. There's six of them. I think they were a dollar. They were. They were a dollar, but I paid so much less. I probably paid, you know, 30 cents, 50 cents, something like that, because I always have rewards and discounts at Shein. I also gave her this one. It says Breathe on it. And I picked this one up at Dollar General, I believe, uh, on clearance. Probably for 50 cents or less. And the last thing in that bag 
is her cross. I always like to give a cross in my shoe boxes, 5 to 14 in particular. And this one is from Hobby Lobby. It's purple. And I added a black satin cord to it. She's got a couple of pairs of socks, a purple pair, and a wild, fun pair of heart smiley faces, reminiscent of the 70s. And I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. These were some of those little mismatched socks where you got three that were mismatched. So in order to get a pair, I had to buy two packages, which was fine. Uh, a little bit more than I typically like to spend on socks for shoe boxes because I can usually get great deals at Walmart, but I'm not finding those deals anymore. So three pairs of socks then cost me $2.50. I didn't think that was too bad. I gave her one of those little smiley face pairs of socks, very cute. And then I just happened to have underwear in her size, which is, I believe a girl size 14. I think they're 14, 16. And look how perfectly they match her socks. Not that they need to match her socks, but they just happen to match perfectly. Now, the 1960s and 70s were an extremely laid back time when peace, love, happiness, freedom were the mantra and everything was groovy. A gallon of gas was only 35 cents and there were no cell phones or internet. So popular activities for kids it was playing outside. That's what we did. Skipping rope, hopscotch, hula hoop, roller skates. I mean, we played games like kickball, tag, um, what was that game? Kick the can. Did anyone ever play kick the can? Well, I couldn't fit a hula hoop or roller skates in this box, but I could fit sidewalk chalk. So I gave her an assortment of sidewalk chalk. Let's see, six different colors. And I just slipped it into a little um, zippered bag. And then I laminated instructions how to play hopscotch in case she didn't know and some hopscotch diagrams on the back and then i slipped that whole thing into a quart sized ziploc bag so she'll have that and then i also gave her a skipping rope in purple she's got an assortment of colorful school supplies in a mesh zippered pencil pouch contributed by a viewer and inside she's got eight pencils four of which are some crazy prints that reminded me of the 60s and 70s i don't even remember where i got these actually i think i picked them up at walmart but i'm not certain and then she's got a red black and blue pen an orange Sharpie highlighter contributed by Angie, and a couple of flower-shaped pencil sharpeners, and a purple eraser. She has a fun tie-dyed spiral journal that I picked up at the Dollar Tree probably a couple of years ago, and I paired it with a fun tie-dyed fluffy pen. This is one of those multi pens and that came from Walmart on clearance for dirt cheap, I'm sure. And I've given her another novelty pen with a big flower on it. I like giving novelty pens, especially to the older kids, girls in particular. Um, I, I just think they're fun. She has a craft, a friendship bracelet kit that I put together with four skeins of friendship bracelet thread that Denise L. sent. And then I took some DIY bracelet, friendship bracelet instructions off of the internet and included that in a little baggie. 
Something else that I was really excited to pack in this shoe box is some wall decor. So this girl will have something fun to decorate her space. This says spread the love and it has plexiglass on the front with the two finger peace sign and then it's got sequins in it, hot pink sequins. It's very cute and a lot of fun. I think a young girl would enjoy having it to decorate her space. She's got a spiral notebook for school, a solar calculator contributed by Angie. She has a great coloring book, Vintage Designs. This came from the Dollar Tree. And I guess that means I'm vintage because I'm older than many of the images in this coloring book, but there are some great ones. Peace signs and flowers, hearts. The VW bus was a favorite mode of transportation by hippies in the U.S. back in the 60s and 70s. Just great, great images. Look at those shoes. <laughs> those are so wild. I love this. Perfect. And to color in that coloring book, I've given her an assortment of colored pencils that I've banded together. I think there's a dozen. She's got another journal, a doodle diary. And just from the cover, you know that I had to include it in this shoe box. <laughs> this, this is just totally representative of the 60s and 70s. Bright colors, peace signs, hearts, doves, guitars, and uh, inside places to draw and write. She has a flexible ruler for school with inches and centimeters. She's got some stickers reminiscent of the 60s and 70s with peace signs, smiley faces, flowers, hearts, two sheets of the same. I like to include a prayer card with a cross. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And this is one of those that she can use her colored pencils to color in. And it's got flowers all over it for this flower child. She's got a set of really fun tattoos. Peace and love from the Dollar Tree. I had to include these, look at them. And then I also slipped in there some laminated instructions on how to put the tattoo on with water. She's got a few other stickers, some skateboard stickers from Shein.com, and some of them are perfect for the 60s and 70s. We have Peace, Love, and Music. There's a colorful VW van that says Peace and Love on it. Back to the 60s. We have an electric guitar, a vinyl record album, another VW bus, and I think I dropped a VW Beetle with flowers, a backpack. Hippies did a lot of backpacking in the 60s and 70s. A bicycle with flowers, enjoy the ride, and just others. We've got butterflies, cactus, strawberries, and three Hello Kitties. She's got another type of head or neckwear or face covering in a bright tie-dye print. This came from the Dollar Tree and I'm leaving it in the package so she can see all the different ways that she can wear it. And the last thing in the box for this flower child is a drawstring backpack contributed by Kit Nicole. has peace signs all over it. Is that not cool? And I attached to it a bag tag of a VW bus so she can put some identification information on it. So that completes my flower child box from the 60s and 70s, packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I hope you were inspired. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop by and watch this video. Thank you to all the girls who contributed to this shoebox. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.